I'm happy once again to be here to share something with you so that we can learn together. Today's topic or subject is on to be. To be you, to be and stand out, to be bold, to be confident so that when you are there, people can see that you are there. Not just to disappear among other people, among children, and then it's only when they call out your name that people can see, oh, so he is here, oh, she is here. We need to be individuals, we need to stand out. To be needs that there are other people also by which you are comparing yourself. And by this I don't mean that we should copy from one another. Yes, we can copy good habits, but not the mannerisms. And it is the mannerisms that I'm talking about, the ones which will make you who you are. When we discussed or talked about rhythms of life, we saw there a character called man. Man is just standing in that book, is just standing for all of us as people, as human beings. Some of us have what they call the backbone, in other words, we are. Others fail to be and can be swayed this side or this side. And I think that's what was happening to man, failing to be. To be also means for one to have a character, to have something good which people will know you by. To know that somebody is hardworking, somebody knows how to speak, somebody is clever or bright, somebody has done something which they can see. And this is why it is so important for each one of us to be. When we organized essay competitions, you'll find the winning essay in this book. The theme was women beauty. So some women certainly think that by being beautiful, that makes them. Yes, it may make them, they may stand out for one minute, but for the second minute, what do they say? How do they know that they are? So we ran the essay competition around uh, the theme, bold, beautiful, and brainy. And as you look at this cover, you'll find that all the winning essays in this volume actually discussed the subject of being. How do I become? How do these young ladies, and also there are some men there, how do they become? They give us their own ideas of how they can become, how they can be. Of course, since they were students or in school, that's why we have the brain. You have also to use your brains to be. But of course, you stand out, you become bored, you are confident, and then, yes, beauty adds something, or it aids you faster for people to recognize that actually you are there, but it's not enough. And I'm happy that the writers here say it very well. It's not enough to be beautiful. You have to stand out, have something that, have a character that brings you out, have something that you do that will make you shine. Also, in the examples that we are going to use in the video clips, in the different pictures we shall post, in the different uh, skits that we may watch in this episode, it's all about being. You can't be without doing. We can't be without stepping out so that people can see you as an individual within a certain space against certain other individuals and then they say oh this one's character is this this one stands for this 
This one is because either she writes or she acts or she sings or she dances or she has a special talent or she has made something which is of use to her but also to other people around her. So welcome and enjoy this episode. Thank you. Why the devil did I think of this? 
said that before. They were old ones. Who also want something new. Day in, day out, I see women here dressed smart and I get ashamed of my rap. I also want to look like Namata. For instance, high heels, shoes, a responsible woman. Ah. Eh? The professor, the professor is about to come. I'm going to come to the for for my usual show. And please hurry. You go, you must not find that. You will get to know that you've been dirty. Go. 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 Okay, do what I say. Again, do what I say.
with a creative skit, what comes after the other? Please, enjoy. I'm gonna